subject of our next film was making the headlines. Yes, we are Sam Fox to pose for our brilliant portrait artist, Ada Banji, in more clothes than she wore back then, but she is still rocking the double D, as in denim. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout history, art and photography have reflected the popular perceptions of beauty at the time. Samantha Fox encapsulated a new era in the way a woman's appearance is judged, the glamour model. I had no intention and no dream of being a page three girl. It literally just happened. Sam burst into the tabloids at just 16 after winning a modelling competition and so launched a love affair with the press, becoming one of the most photographed women of the 80s. The picture did appear front page of the paper. It said, Sam quits A-levels for O-levels. Ooh. <laughs> I did go to a Catholic school. I was taught by nuns, and I guess it was a bit of a shock because I still dreamed of being an actress and a singer. I never dreamed about being a page three girl. Do you ever feel you've been exploited? No, I've always made my own decisions, really. Right. I've never been exploited in the way of that I've done something and regretted it. I'm not embarrassed about it. I look at them and I think, wow, they were classy, they looked great. And um, it was a fabulous career. You'd, you'd get people saying, um, oh, don't you think it's degrading to women? And my answer used to be, have you been to the Tate Gallery lately? <laughs> it's full of nude paintings of beautiful women. We had to do life drawing. Got to college, it's like... Naked. <laughs> OK, are we going to draw? Yes, you are. Where do are. I start with? Where do I start? <laughs> and for the first time in my life, I had to reconcile, this is art. I'm Black glad out. you think that. There's a thin line with photography. Yeah. It can be tacky yeah. or it can be artistic. Yeah. And I never wanted to be tacky. Does it annoy you that you are known for modelling rather than your music? It's very difficult for me in Britain to cross over. For some reason, people felt that if guys pinned you up on their wall, that that's all you could do. Uh-huh. So I worked double hard just to show people, no, I can sing and I can do this. My first single went to number one in 17 countries across the world uh, where they never knew Samantha Fox as a page three girl. So that made me really proud. Someone's perception of you does not have to be, you know, your story. How was it for you to um, come out publicly in being in a relationship with a woman. <laughs> with a woman. <laughs> Love is such a great thing that you cannot mess with it. And when it hits you, it hits you like a tongue of bricks. You think maybe you're going to lose all your fans because all their fantasies have been squashed. But because they have grown up with me, yeah. they feel they do know me as a person. And I think a lot of them just want, want me to be happy. When I first met Myra, during that time, many people would um, ask me if I was in a relationship, and I would say no. And I was thinking, I'm lying. Mm. I can't never lie. Unfortunately, I lost my baby last year, mm. who fought for two years with cancer. Mm. I think because she suffered for two years, yeah. that's probably when I did lose a lot of my spark, because it, that was just awful, seeing her suffer yeah. so much. Yeah. And yeah. I was her carer. So I lived with it for 24-7, but it also made me grow up a hell of a lot. Whoa. She was strong, hmm. very strong, and that strength was given to me during that time, and even and now so. When you look at yourself in the mirror, right, what do you see? There's been some sadness. Yeah. But as a whole, I look at myself as a, a survivor, a strong woman, and a person who was lived a dream, you know, and content. I feel very content. Using the time that Sam has spent sitting for me, I am painting her portrait of the way I see her. Three weeks later, it's complete and Sam returns to my studio. Oh, it's great. I think you're emerging. That's the kind of thing I captured there. It's like the spotlight, the, the way you come, the glow. It's great. I mean, I'm 50 and uh, it'll be... Ah. It's, it's a milestone. So timing's right. Timing's perfect, mate. Good, good, yeah. good. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Should be a regular show. Yeah. Shouldn't it? Wonderful. It's great, isn't it? Brilliant. Oh, yeah. I had a bunch of... You're all hooked, you.